Yuzhijima burst onto the World Cup scene this season like a lightning bolt from the East, picking up the first podium of her career with second place in the Hoke Filtzen pursuit. Her dramatic rise to the top of the biathlon world culminated with an Olympic relay gold medal last month in Sochi. Yet there is more to Jima than biathlon. She is a very talented artist, but unfortunately has little time for that now. In this interview conducted on a warm evening in Rupolding, the delightful Yulia Jima talked about her life and her biathlon hero. I spent my childhood in Kyiv. I studied there, I lived there. But to tell the truth, I don't train in there, because biathlon is not very popular in Kyiv. I have been doing sports since I was 14. Biathlon is my first and only sport. My parents were biathletes. I didn't want to be a biathlete when I was a child. But my parents forced me. Before I used to paint. But one day, my father asked me to try biathlon. I didn't want. I cried for two days. But my parents persuaded me. It was February. There was no snow in Kyiv. <laughs> so first I tried shooting, and I quite liked it. The first year I didn't think that uh, it would be serious, but after I understood that I like to shoot. So after I had a lot of problems with skiing, I always fell. <laughs> so this became a motivation for me, and I wanted to be better. I said to myself, I will do it. Maybe it is the reason why I am here now. In my family, I was the first painter. It was so funny. Then I was small, my mother wanted me to do a lot of things. First of all, I was a dancer. I was four or five years old. But after two lessons, the teacher told my mother that I dance like a bear. <laughs> and I need to try something else. After this, I tried gymnastics, but I wasn't very good. I tried singing. While others were singing, I just kept quiet. <laughs> After this, I tried pottery. We made some small sculptures. And after two years, I understood that I want to try painting. I thought that it would be amazing, and it was. 
I won a lot of competitions. My biggest victory was in a national competition. It was so cool. There were more than 500 competitors. I was so happy. <laughs> but then I studied sport and finished painting. It is impossible to do sport and painting at the same time. Now I like to paint sometimes, especially in spring. My parents were good athletes. My father was in the national team. Did they compete at the same level as you now? But then it was a different kind of sport. It was the USSR and the team was the elite from the whole Soviet Union. My parents were not my heroes in sport, just because I never saw them compete. I was so small that they were athletes. So my hero is the king of biathlon, Oleina. Have you met him already? Yes, I do. The first time I saw him, I asked him to take a photo and get an autograph. <laughs> and then he did it. I was so happy. When you have a free day in a biathlon, what do you do? In my free time, I like shopping, <laughs> reading, and talking on Skype. Last question. You said you don't like to fall in the snow at the finish. I have never been so tired to fall in snow at finish. Then I am tired. I try to stay on my feet. My mother asked why everyone fall at the finish. It is so hard to see everybody so tired. And I said to myself, I will not fall in the snow at the finish because my mother will be upset. So I always think, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> Yulia Jima, thank you very much. Thank you.